Hey guys, what's up? It's the Epic Cuber here, and welcome to part two of learning how to solve the Rubik's Cube using the Friedrichs method. In the last episode, we learned how to do F2L, which is, stands for first two layers. So basically, we just solved the first two layers of our puzzle cube with intuition. In this episode, we're going to be learning how to do OLL, or Orient Last Layers. And the goal of that is to achieve a thing that looks like this, a solid top color. I saw from green to blue, so I'd be trying to get this a whole solid blue color and not worry about the edges and the corners. There are seven algorithms that we need to learn in order to achieve that, instead of just a single algorithm that you repeat repetitively, which takes longer. There are also two different kinds of OLL. There's OLL one look and OLL two look. We're going to be using two look. OLL one look goes from all of these stages. So there's many, many more algorithms. You do a single algorithm from the stage with a single dot and you get to a fully solved top face or from the L shape or from the line and so on and so forth. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna get it to where we have the cross and then we're gonna use our algorithms that only apply to this. So let's jump right into it. The first thing that I like to show is to go over how to get the top cross. Now you should already know how to do this from the beginner's method, but I only learned it with one algorithm and it wasn't till later until I learned that there's multiple algorithms to get to the cross from each of these steps. So let's go ahead and do that. If you start with the L shape is what we'll start with first. L shape. So you hold this in your top left corner and you go F U R U inverted R F. And that solve the cube by accident, but that will not occur, probably, unless you get lucky. If you go from the line, you hold it to where it is horizontal to you, and you go front, R, U, R inverted, U prime, F prime. And there, we have the cross. And then if you were to do it from the dot, you just take both of those algorithms. Now, I start with the L-shape pattern algorithms because it's actually one less turn. If you were to do it like this, it is one less turn than to start with the horizontal line algorithm. Don't know if that made too much sense, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first algorithm. So the first case we're going to look at looks like this, to where you have your cross and you have a tab off to the side of it. And then if you're holding the cube like this with a tab in your left corner, each solid color block that needs to be turned up will be facing you no matter which way you turn it. This algorithm is called the soon algorithm. So let's go ahead and do it. You hold the tab in your left corner and you go R U R prime U R U two R. The second algorithm that we're going to learn is called the anti soon. And the case looks very, very similar. Again, you have the cross and the tab off to the side. But the only difference is if you hold the cube like this, the color that needs to be facing up will not be facing you it will be on the left side rather than the right. So here it is, this needs to be turned up, whereas in the soon, it would be facing me right here. So, instead of holding it like this with the tab in the bottom left, you hold it in the top left. And this is the same algorithm, just opposite. So you go R inverted, U inverted, R, U inverted, R inverted, U2, R. This next algorithm that we're going to learn is called the symmetry cross. In this case, we have the upper cross and we have two pairs of so-called headlights. Now, you see how these two blue colors are facing towards me as if a headlights of a car. That is why they are called that. So you have the upper blue cross and you have two pairs of headlights on either side of the cube pointing away from each other. So how I want you to hold the cube is I want to hold you to hold it like this with the headlights facing towards you and pointing behind you. And this is the algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Just like that, another top face. Please take note to how in the previous case, I did one F turn and then the same pattern three times. So that same pattern is the same one that you would use to get the horizontal cross in the puzzle. 
So you just do that three times repeated and you will achieve this. The next case that we're going to look at is called the non-symmetry cross. In this case, you have the upper cross and then you have a pair of headlights facing towards you and two tabs that are facing away from each other. So you only have one pair of headlights on this. The way that I would like you to hold the cube to do this algorithm is to hold it with the headlights pointing to the left. So here is the algorithm. It is R, U2, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2, U2, R. This next case that we're going to look at appears like this, to where you have the upper cross and two edges, or corners rather, that are already solved, and then two corners that are pointing away from each other. So before we get started on this algorithm, there's something that I would like to point out, and that is that there is a small r turn in here. And what that small r means is that you take both right faces. So you take the right face plus the center and you bring it up. So that would be a small r turn rather than the normal capital letter r turn. So let's get started on the algorithm. How I would like you to hold the cube is like this, to where you have one light facing towards you on the left side. So let's get started on the algorithm. It is both right faces, a u, an r prime, a u prime, both R faces prime, an F, an R, and an F prime. The next algorithm that we're going to learn looks like this. It is similar to the previous one that we just learned, ex all except for there are two headlights rather than two tabs facing away from each other. So, how I would like you to hold the cube for this one is to have it to where the headlights are facing towards you. And here's the algorithm. R2, D, R prime, U2, R, D prime, R prime, U2, R prime. This next case that we're going to learn is called the bow tie. Reasonably so, because it looks like a bow tie. So, how this case appears is you have the cross and you have two tabs opposing each other on opposite corners of the cube that are in the right place. And then you have two tabs facing to either side, so pointing towards you and pointing towards you on the left. I would like you to hold it to where you have the bow tie with a tab solved in the bottom left and a non-solved one in the right. So here is the algorithm. This one also contains the small r turn. It is f prime, small r, u, r prime, u prime, small r, f, and then r. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to stick around for part three where we're going to be learning the final step of the Friedrichs method the PLL. One more thing before we go. I would like to point out that all of these algorithms that we just learned also apply to a 2x2. Two two. That's all for now. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section below. So, see you guys later. Bye.